talking about? We're talking about you. Yeah. As an actor. I'm sick of talking about me. I'm, I'm sick of talking about you, but you're such a good actor. <laughs> you're so Thank good. You. Thank like you. 71, all the way through, I mean, Killing of a Sacred Deer, Thank every you. performance you turn in. Cheers, bro. You bring you such. You know, I appreciate when people can can say stuff like that. But, you know, when they when they've watched that kind of work, you know, Sacred Deer in 71, and it's like that's that's someone that knows the films. Oh, not, not let alone about me, but knows the, the movies, you know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Um, movies of that sort. I mean, yeah. It like means it, you, you understand good independent of course. cinema as well. And, I mean, you do it too. I mean, you choose your filmmakers, I'm sure, very carefully. Mm -hmm. Even, I do, man, yeah. I really yeah. do. I, uh, try, and I've been lucky. I wouldn't say lucky, but I've been blessed enough to uh, come across great filmmakers and, and, and get a chance to get that opportunity or present myself to, to give them my version of a character like Yorgos and... and um, you know, Bart Layton and um, Chloe Zhao and um, there's a ton of them, you know, that I've been blessed to get a chance to work with these uh, collaborators as well. I mean, has it gotten to the point where people are coming to you? I, I wouldn't stand there and be really big headed and go, yeah, has, no, I'm always going to be up against so-and-so and so-and-so. And -so. Um, if I like a part and this other actor likes a part and I always bump into the kind of same actors. <laughs> Because you know you find yourself in that category, but you're gonna you're gonna go uh, go for the part. Like both are gonna go for the part, and you know sometimes it's down to uh, director's choice or oh, you know, so you don't always get what you want. Was entering the Marvel universe what you expected it to be? I mean, in terms of just as an actor, was it? Because obviously there's the NDAs, there's mm -hmm. the scale, there's mm -hmm. the, the breath. Yeah, that that's all new to me. Um, but, you know, uh, the pressure that comes with it, it's the pressure that you bring to it. Marvel doesn't put any pressure on you. I'll say that um, they're very, um, very helpful and very, you know, welcoming. And it's it's like a family when you get on set. And Kevin Feige is great, and and, and Victoria Alonso is great, and, and Nate, Nate as well, um, Nate Moore. They're all brilliant, that they all make you feel at home because they understand the pressure that you know it's such a huge fan base. Absolutely. You create that pressure yourself. Absolutely. Um, so the NDAs and all that come with every every movie. Um, it's just that the Marvel banner is. Absolutely. So I know we can't talk about mm. are any roles that you're playing in a set any movies that might be in theaters right now. But tell me about Matt Reeves as a filmmaker. Oh, he's brilliant, man. And Matt, Matt Reeves and, and Dylan Clark, especially um, together, were um, were amazing to me. Um, really, really were amazing to me. Um, you know, to be part of Matt Reeves Batman's universe is uh, I don't know. Like I feel I feel like I'm repeating myself when I say this, but I'm a massive fanboy of, of, of these movies. And especially the Batman universe. I mean, to be uh, to be in that world, it's I'm still pinching myself, you know. Um, and he, him as a filmmaker, I've, I I usually admire as well. Um, he, and and getting to work alongside him and see how he works and seeing again like like Chloe Zhao and that how comfy he makes it for you on set and it gives you the time you need and what you want and you know and it's just I'm I'm in a such a blessed position. Um, yeah, and to work alongside Colin again, and I know it wasn't with Colin yeah. in the scene, but that cast as well. Um, Zoe, you know, Rob, all of them. Just, I was working with Paul on that scene. Oh, yeah, Paul is. I mean, I'm a huge, oh huge fan of Paul, and you know, he's just, yeah, he's such a good dude as well, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I've watched all of his movies, like Prisoners and, and stuff like that. I, you know, people say that we're kind of alike as well sometimes. Sure. And I'm like, are we? <laughs> like, you so, bring an energy. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, did Matt, did Matt, was Matt a fan of Killing the Sacred Deer? I, I think so, yeah. I think so. I think that's, because, I mean, like, and Robert, he was like, good time is my yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, good time. I yeah. assume there's got to be Killing I the hope, Sacred Deer. I hope you. so, yeah. Um, okay. But him and Dylan Clark are, are amazing. And, uh, How did but, you, sorry, to cut you off, because they're, they're cutting yeah, yeah. me off. How did you prepare for it? Um, I mean, I thought, he had already said that he was big into the movie The Man Who Laughs. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't really I know go you can't into say that. Too much about that, but like I can't go into that. All I can say is that it was it was a joy to work with Matt, with Matt and, and, and Dylan Clark on, on that movie. And I'm that's really looking forward to the, the scene that he said there's an extra scene that's going to be coming out. I can't yeah, wait to see that. As I well. want to see that as well. <laughs> you haven't I seen do. it yet? No, I haven't Take seen care, it. Man. Thank right. you.